Hi, my name is Cindy Tui. I'm the application engineer in Keysight Software Design Group. Today, we are going to demonstrate how to calculate insertion loss deviation within ADS. The insertion loss deviation has been used in multiple service standards to quantify the amount of reflections within a channel. Our example today is developed based on the OIF CEI 25 gigabps standard, but you can leverage the same method for other standards as well. The insertion loss deviation is the difference between the measured insertion loss and the fitted insertion loss. To calculate the fitted insertion loss, very complicated matrix operations will be requested. In this example, we developed a customized AEO function to make the calculation easier. You can download this example through the link below this video. It includes the schematic template to convert your single-ended S parameter into differential mode. The ILD will be calculated based on this new differential mode simulation. The data display window will include uh, multiple equations to calculate the fitted insertion loss. But you may find this function is undefined. This is because the expand matrix function is not a built-in function in ADS. We have to enable it before using this in this template. Let's open this workspace folder. In this AEL function folder, we'll need to copy these two files to your ADS home directory. If you don't know how to access the home directory, the easiest way is to go to the file well, click on this toolbar. It will open the home directory for you. We need to access this HPE self folder to copy the file. This HPE subfolder includes some initial configuration files for ADS and also the customized AEL function under this expressions folder. If you don't have this folder in your home directory, you will need to create it by yourself and also create an AEL folder here. Let's put these two files here. We'll need to restart ADS to enable the function. After ADS being restarted, you can find this ILD function can be calculated with no problem. In this template, it includes two tab pages. The first one is to show the insertion loss, return loss, and its minimum and maximum limitation lines based on the specification. And the ILD tab page uh, will include fitted insertion loss, the ILD, also based on the specification, we'll need to calculate the A factors and the RMS value for ILD. Those two factors will be calculated using these equations as well. Next, let's talk about how to leverage this template in your new design or workspace. Let's save this template into a data display template file. And then we can create a new workspace. Let's open a new schematic and load your S parameter using this SNP component. Double click and load your S parameter file. To convert this into a differential mode as parameter, we can use choose SMP utility and prepare for differential simulation. One more click on the component. Then we'll need to change the start and the stop frequency based on your S parameter file. Launch the simulation. In the data display window, we can go to insert template and load your pre-saved ILD file. As you can find here, the two tab pages will be created automatically based on the template. You may find 
the insertion loss looks not correct. This is because the through channel for this S parameter will be S41. Let's change the through channel to S41 and also change the bandwidth to 10 gigahertz based on your S parameter. After this changes, you can find all the insertion loss, return loss, and the ILD will be calculated automatically. Hope you find this helpful. Thank you for watching.